Welcome to another Patho video. This video begins a three-part video series entitled Lipid and Lipoprotein Processing. Today let's talk about lipid digestion, absorption, and chylomicron formation. Have you ever wondered what happens to fat when it gets broken down inside your body? If so, this video is for you. Think of your favorite fatty food from your favorite fast food restaurant. You eat this hamburger and your body begins to break it down. There is a lot of fat in this burger and other fatty foods and most of this fat comes in the form of triglycerides. Each triglyceride is made up of one glycerol molecule and three fatty acid tails. Once the fat from the diet reaches the small intestines, the hepatocytes of the liver come into play producing fluid made up of bile salts that passes into the duodenum and attaches to fat. Bile salts emulsify the fat or allow it to mix with water so that enzymes like lipase can access triglycerides and break them down. The fat is now coated with bile salts. Zooming in on the bile salts, we note that the bile is made up of a hydrophobic portion that will associate with the fat to be digested, and a hydrophilic portion, which associates with the surrounding aqueous fluid of the digestive tract. Molecules with both hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions are known as amphipathic molecules. Now that the fat is coated with bile salts, the emulsification process can take place. Through this process, the fat will break apart into smaller droplets. This provides a larger surface area for lipases to break down the triglycerides of the fat droplets. Lipases released from the pancreas into the duodenum will break down the triglycerides of fat into monoglycerides, diglycerides, and free fatty acids. Cholesterol, phospholipids, bile salts, monoglycerides, diglycerides, and free fatty acids all come together to form a special structure called a micelle. Let's take a closer look at the structure of the micelle. Let's identify the components of the micelle first. There are diglycerides made up of a glycerol and two fatty acids. There are also monoglycerides made up of a glycerol and one fatty acid. There are also phospholipids, cholesterol, bile salts, and free fatty acids. Note that there are no triglycerides in micelles. The micelle will dissociate, and the monoglycerides and free fatty acids will enter the enterocytes of the small intestine by simple diffusion. Lipases will continue to act on diglycerides and break them apart into monoglycerides and free fatty acids that can be absorbed into the enterocyte. Cholesterol will also enter into the enterocytes but through a special transporter called NPC1L1. Once inside the enterocyte, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum can reassemble the free fatty acids and monoglycerides back into triglycerides. The triglycerides are assembled with cholesterol and an enterocyte-produced protein called ApoB48 to form a structure called a chylomicron. The chylomicron is then packaged into a vesicle by the Golgi apparatus and leaves the enterocyte by exocytosis. A chylomicron is full of triglycerides, abbreviated TG here, that will be delivered to different cells of the body for energy. The apple B48 is a hydrophilic protein that allows the chylomicron to be transported in aqueous solutions like the blood or lymph fluid. Chylomicrons are too large to enter the capillaries surrounding the enterocytes of the gut, so instead they first enter lacteals of the lymph system. The chylomicrons travel through the lymph vessels to the largest lymph vessel called the thoracic duct. 
The thoracic duct dumps into large veins located near the heart. Now in systemic circulation, they can be delivered to cells throughout the body. Here is a summary of all the steps for micelle and chylomicron formation. Please pause the video now for review. This concludes our video about lipid digestion and absorption and chylomicron formation. We appreciate Josh Smith for his major contributions in the production of this video. As always, thanks for watching. Please join us now for part two to see what happens next in the life cycle of a chylomicron.